Hi there, my name is Kunenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of 60th Kilometer, a visual novel indie adventure game. The developer is Talent Place, the publisher is Kish Mish Games, came out in 2016, got mostly positive reviews and it's currently for 79p in Steam, although if you go in the sale it's 39p, so you know it is what it is. Uh, single player trading cars for Windows XP to 10. Um, you're going to work by train, but strange things happen on the way. The train stops, the pink fog appears outside, and the man who came off the train immediately dies. The main characters turned out to be locked in the train without any clue about what's going on or about what's happening. So I have played the full game. I have linked it here in the video if you want to watch it. Um, it is a visual novel, so there is a lot of um, reading. Uh, straight from the off it says that there is nudity and rape scenes and stuff like that. Well, I didn't come across any of that. Uh, but that's because of the choices that I made. So, um, the graphics are really good. Uh, I find the graphics were very sort of crisp and clear. Um, there was, you know, they're all hand drawn and um, that's your characters. They didn't really move, they just stood sort of stationary and then just drifted in and drifted out um, and then you now then see images of real life you know like uh, Moscow and um, it's a Russian game by the way Moscow or um, uh, Dubnia I think it was and some other places um, and real pictures of cars and, and whatnot um, it's a very very good game so when you when you sign it up as well you have the choice of playing it in English or Russian and obviously I chose English and um, you, it, it recommends you to uh, save continuously a lot. And you think, well, do I have to? Is it like all these other kind of games you save but nothing actually happens? Well, y yes, you do. Uh, many a times you might be going along and it'll tell you to press keys in a certain position um, to get through something. Uh, but you, you know, you go through the motions. Uh, or you might choose. Like it's a visual novel, but it's still a choice thing. So it might say, "Do you want to go after her, or do you want to stay up in the in the train?" So you say, "Click to run after her." Then it might be a bad thing or whatever. You don't really, you don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's a really really good game. My hats are off to the translators. Uh, they obviously never used Google Translate to thank the goodness. Otherwise, it'd have been miserable reading it. Um, it's, there's no words, it's just uh, no voices, it's just reading. Uh, so they obviously translated it perfectly. There was literally about one or two words, but that was it. I mean, I, I could understand everything that was going on. It was just like reading a book in, in my own language, more or less. Um, you play a couple of characters, really, as a main, as a main thing. Um, and it, 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 is, it does sort of then think, well, I wonder if this happened, if this happened in real life. What would happen, you know? It's it's, it's a strange thing. It's a really really good uh, really good way of doing it. Um, so like I say, I've watched I've watched I've played the entire game, and it, it gives you the choices, like I said, in your head, and you, you do think, what would I do? I mean, you could have gone down different routes, and then I've had to probably make it a lot of 18, but I didn't. I was kind of wimping out, saying, oh, I'm not going to go and. I'm not going to go outside and hunt for some random dude who just ran off. I'm just going to stay here and have my sandwich. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, very good game. Very good game. Uh, there was only one glitch I had, and I think that was just the way I pressed the keys in the random order. I was doing the key thing, A, S, W, S, W, W, S, S, D, and then I press something else, I think I press one of the keys on the left, like a shift or something, and I got an error code. Um, but that was it, that's the only error, and it literally got me straight back, it, it didn't crash the game or anything, I managed to press a button and then I got back into exactly where I was, so it wasn't a major, major issue for, for me. Um, but yeah, yeah, I liked it, it was a good game, very good game. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this game review of 60th Kilometer. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I've got other uh, reviews that you might enjoy. If you like visual novels, I've done quite a few. Some like this and some that are more um, text-based, that there's no images at all. Um, 
please uh, subscribe. Please uh, write in the comments box below if you've if you played this game or anything similar. Is it something you would like me to do more of? Um, depending if I've got anything or get get some free to play ones or whatever. Uh, and please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.